Greetings to all and welcome back. Today we are going to present the new structure for my CNC. During these last months we have been preparing this structure since the previous structure had some misalignments, each time they were presenting more problems. With this new structure we get to have a greater rigidity and hardness, for avoid this problem to happen again. I will try to explain which parts are the ones that gave problems and the reason. I will also give advice for someone who wants to buy a CNC and avoid my mistakes. I attach some pictures to show the parts, the CNC working videos will be uploaded as I am doing some carvings. For now I'm finishing to assemble the machine and adjust everything before I start recording videos. I will try to put this AI-generated voice system in the videos with important things to say or share. I think it's the best for make it easier than use subtitles. The unique problem is I need to upload the videos in two versions, one for my native language and another in English, but it's fine I need to practice English, please take it easy if I make mistakes. Roller brand linear guideways have been installed, it's like Highwind brand quality. They are 20mm rails with their respective blocks with scrapers for dust and chips, to prevent them from filling with dust or chips and fail. We also have put grease nipples to facilitate the greasing and maintenance. These linear guideways are quality ones, this time, I will not make the mistake of putting low-quality SBR guideways, where any adjustment problem are magnified. It should be noted that in my previous structure had a small mismatch in the x-axis, when I asked to cut my aluminum profiles it did not do their job well, and caused me to go for a contrasted and more professional option. From what I have been able to read and understand, the SBR guides are guides that should never be used for a professional or semi-professional environment. I would even go as far as to say that they should be avoided at all costs, but I cannot confirm it because there may be some SBR guides of very good quality, but I don't know one quality CNC with this guideways. What I know for sure is that SBR rails will never have the rigidity of this type of guideways, where the bearings have much more axial and radial supports, to put it in an understandable way, these guides have bearings everywhere and in many directions that give more rigidity to all. And the economical SBR guides have three rows of bearings, which are supported only at one point that is cylindrical in each row, which means a very low bearing point. I will try to find a video that explains this well. If someone knows of a video that explains it well, please put it in the comments and I will leave it fixed so that everyone can watch it. To give an example, the economic SBR block rails, if you take them with your hand, have a little movement, with these new guides it has been impossible to make them move, they just slide from right to left, I can't get them to have any kind of movement to any direction than slide in left or right. In my videos you can see how the CNC works, since I will start recording videos again of the 3D engravings, and you can draw conclusions of the difference between an economic CNC and a higher quality one. The first thing I checked is that without changing any motor or electronics, I'm able to move the axis of the machine of maximum 216 inches per minute to more than 787 inches per minute, Obviously with NEMA 24 motors is imposable to use the machine at those speeds when work, since that would require servo motors and a much more powerful spindle. For NEMA 24 motors I think the correct it set the machine to move in fast travel moves at 400 inches per minute. And in cutting moves all depend in material and bit you use, but I think I never exceed 250 inches per minute in light carvings. But only with this I can see the quality of the guideways, because this new CNC weighs more and can run more than four times faster and cut at this speed with this bit are imposable. In my current CNC I have installed a 1.1 kW spindle with frequency inverter, and I would like to change it for a spindle of between 1.8 and 2 kW with automatic tool change. But this will have to wait, changing the spindle are expensive and automatic tool change complicate things a lot. Since the milling motor need a pneumatic and water cooling system installed. And programming the CNC and all the pneumatic relays in a specific way. 
requires money, time and study how it works and spend many hours trying to figure out how to make it work correctly. All aluminum profiles are heavy-duty profiles. The table base is very heavy and can weigh about 132 pounds, and the dimensions are 32 by 180 millimeters. The other profiles are 45 by 90 and 45 by 180 millimeters profiles. The whole assembly without motors and nothing more than the CNC structure and steel table will weigh about 440 pounds. I still need to make a piece of aluminum to properly support the cable rack and vacuum piping. I will take the opportunity to learn how to mill aluminum, but I am not going to try to mill the aluminum part fast, I will do it safely and slowly since I have no experience with aluminum. I will leave the aluminum milling part for later, first I want to mill wood which is my main goal. Finally, instead of using the mechanical limit switches I changed them for inductive ones, you can see the pictures in the video. I bought them with quick connector and 4 meters cable to avoid soldering anything or buy more cables, they are very economical bought in AliExpress. In a while I will put the links of what I am using, but these limit switches I will not put it in the links because I have only used them a few days and I do not want to put a link until I have not been using something for a long time and I know that it works well. Thanks for watching my video, in the next days I start to make some 3D carvings, I want to make the same design in different speeds and compare old CNC and new CNC and know the limits of the new setup. Maybe I go to broke some bits, but I need to know this. Please if you have some recommendation or question, feel free to comment and press like button and subscribe if you like this content.